Biafra has begun the new year with a new catastrophe. After two weeks of heavy fighting in the eastern region, Biafra lost one third of its territory. While the Biafran 12th Division collapsed there, all over the rest of the country, squads of Biafran commandos searched marketplaces, feeding centers and even hospitals for deserters and able-bodied young men who could be enlisted as reinforcements. Biafra knows what she's fighting for, but the army is fighting a hopeless war and the people are beginning to get tired. The military hospitals are becoming swamped with casualties. In the Swit Red Cross Hospital at Abu, the only really well-equipped hospital behind the front, more than 100 wounded soldiers were operated on every day during the Christmas week. Although the International Red Cross officially stopped relief flights into Biafra, it's still active amongst the refugees. The French Red Cross, for instance, at Santana, is looking after a thousand of the worst cases of starvation amongst children. The five French doctors in charge of this hospital call them Belgian babies. Since Christmas, 200,000 new refugees have taken to the roads in Biafra. Among them, hundreds of soldiers who've thrown away their weapons and, without food, are retreating with the civilians.